my <laughs> Linda boobs out. Let me see if I can see well. Come with your mommy. Where's my better side? Both of your sides are good. No, this has three chins. This one has two. <laughs> Where's my better side? Oh, girl, I'm glad we got that on camera. Oh, yeah. Where's my better side? spirit one because we're in around Christmas time yes. and um, two because this shit of a year is almost over 2016 is coming to an end yes and so welcome to the feminist tea party's final episode for 2016 I'm Charlie and I'm Maggie if you guys don't know by now it's been almost a year what are we drinking today this tea is definitely one of my favorites it's called Alpine punch mm. Do you like it? Uh, it smells delicious. It smells like like coconutty for some like coconutty, almondy, all good stuff. I think it, 2016 in general was a very weird year because it, it did like really good stuff, but also really really it ended. I feel like it ended in a little bit of a down note with the the election and everything. In terms of media, I do have to say before we get into our own production here um, that. There's been like a few shows that uh, I've very I've been very surprised as to how they've done in terms of their storyline and, and everything. I was just talking to you about Insecure. So Insecure, um, a show on HBO. Issa Rae, the creator, writer, producer of the show, and also star of the show. She all the around all queen, one, basically. Yes. It had really great female to female dynamics. It has a lot of like people of color in the cast. And um, just I don't know. Is that I, I thought it was it was just so genuine, so real. So I really and it's definitely refreshing too. I've also there's two shows actually that I wanted to just sprinkle out there that I was surprised that I liked. I am all caught up on Pitch. Have you seen Pitch? I love Pitch, and I really hope that they renew it because yes. that cliffhanger was like what? <laughs> it's it's all about the dynamics of like like gender dynamics and having this young woman she's like 23 or 24 in the show she's a woman of color and she plays with all the boys the first co-ed team in the major leagues the writing there is really good because it's not forced and it's very conversational i love um just watching camaraderie and i've never been into sports um most of the time i don't know what they're talking about in terms of lingo but um i i just i love it the other show that I was very you have i don't think you've seen it but I wrote an article about Supergirl. It was one of those shows where I felt like I had to like it because it is about uh, because it is Supergirl. I was like, well, if you're a feminist, you must like Supergirl. And it's like there's a lot of lack of diversity in the show. But other than that, I feel like female dynamics are really, really great in the show. And I won't say any more because I, I don't want to spoil it to you. But it was another show that really, really did surprise me this year. Um, has there been a show that that surprised that me? That surprised you, yeah. Um, I have to say our show. Our show? Because I frankly didn't think that we'd last this long. <laughs> yeah. um, we started 2016, March. early March. Um, so it's been about... Almost I know year. math. Like, one of my favorite things in terms of doing the show has been processing news and not just like processing it for myself, but processing it so when we meet, we'll talk about it, we'll catch up, we'll decide, mm, is this a good thing to talk about on on the show? We've talked about this stuff anyway, but it's mm -hmm. interesting to have our banter and conversations online for people to like see them. Our last episode, if you guys haven't seen it, it's all like most of our bloopers from that the was show. my favorite episode. Yeah, is that your favorite? <laughs> Another one of my favorites has been the witches episode because of course. We shot three episodes and I think in one and a half days. We were exhausted by the end, but we mustered through and we did three And I know you different. wanted to cry. <laughs> I love that you say that's one of your favorites, but it's one of the most difficult times shooting. I'm very happy that people have been watching. Um, we've increased our subscribers. Um, we have a lot of our family and friends that are that are watching constantly and, and are giving it tips and pointers and also letting us know um, how great we're doing and how brave we are for being on camera. I've gotten that a few times, so I want to take this little opportunity Why? to 
to be to what are you trying to say be very because not everybody's very comfortable being on camera so yeah i want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has helped us this year um i want to thank you too and and oh, you know you're welcome you're welcome you know, i i do have to say it hasn't been a good year for per me personally and i feel like this is the only thing that kept me going especially now with like everything that's going on and how shitty of a year 2016 has been um finding creative outlets if that's your thing is really important and i think it's also really important to not focus on doing it for somebody else for the likes and for the shares like if you want to do something if you're a writer just write or if you want to make videos just make them it's not going to make the world less of a better place Thank you everybody for, for who has commented, who has watched, who has supported us in any sort of way. Even people that have trolled us. It's helped to thicken our skin, I think. Yeah. One of the things that I've learned this year is to pick your battles. Not everything is oh, something yeah. that you need to fight. Or you know, need to respond uh, to. That you need to respond to. I have like four gray hairs that won't go away. I think it's just this year. I think oh, okay. it's this year and the stress. Like being the stress. a feminist on the internet. Oh, gray hair. Yes, yes, that's what it is. That exactly. sounds pretty <laughs> accurate, actually. And speaking of doing creative things. Yeah, if you guys can notice, it's gotten pretty dark since we started. We are shutting the lights off on one project. Well, putting it on a bit of a hiatus. Hiatus. So we can light up some other projects that are going on. We we added more light because <laughs> it's four o'clock and it's so fucking dark. So we wanted to like explore other creative outlets. It's not all about the pretty faces, you know. Um, we actually do other creative things part and of it, um, being part of it. We actually have have a blog, and um, you're going to talk a little bit about it. But just a disclaimer, it's not that we are not going to be friends anymore or anything like that. There's so um, much drama behind the scenes. You guys yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do an interview show with some of my favorite female friends about themselves, their lives, and also a cause or um, a particular topic that I have an interest in. And it's going to be called Mixing It Up With Maggie. And um, I am definitely going to... Yeah, some like cocktails instead of tea. So it's a little, it's gonna be a little different, but definitely watch out for that. I, it will be coming in uh, early 2017. You know what's really great? Yes. Now that it's on camera, you have to do it. We are going on a bit of feminist tea party hiatus. There might be some other videos um, coming out on this channel. Definitely keep an eye out for the vlog that Maggie was talking about. That's where this really all started. If you would like to contribute, if you um, have something to say about feminism and you want to write about it and you don't particularly want to make a whole vlog, you can come to us. Um, we're going to be opening submissions in early 2017 as well, especially with this incoming year coming on. <sighs> with, we all know, we know who you know who. <gasps> we have our own you know who now. I know. That's terrible. We want to wish everyone a happy holidays, you know, whether you celebrated Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah, or maybe your holiday hasn't come up yet because it is still... Yes? <laughs> Look, we're having way too much fun. Happy 2017, you guys, and I really, 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 really hope that it's a better one for all of us. Yes. And let intersectional feminism reign. Woohoo! No DAPL. Woohoo! More people of color in movies and TV. Woohoo! Am I gonna finish? Better reproductive health. Yes! Oh. Woohoo! No. More feminist tea party! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you wanna? Woohoo! Feliz Navidad y Prospero Año Nuevo. <laughs>